Hi, I'm Sarah Stegner from Prairie Grass Cafe in Northbrook, Illinois. I am going to make a recipe for you of Aura King salmon that has a butter uh, shallot topping on it. And then it's with a savory risotto oats. It's made with oats from Three Sisters Garden, which is a local farm in Kankakee owned by Tracy Val. And then we're gonna cook the salmon slow roasted in the oven. And we're going to make the risotto which won't take more than 10, 15 minutes to cook. And then to finish it off, we'll saute mushrooms. And the mushrooms that I'm using are from River Valley Ranch. It's a local farm that's organic. I try to incorporate seasonality into my cooking and using local ingredients really shows off what's available. Okay, so to get started, I need mushrooms uh, for my stock and I also have shallots, onions, carrots, celery root, celery, fennel, and leeks. And I'm going to add thyme and bay leaf, which is kind of the foundation of seasonings for stocks. It's a lot of vegetables and it will yield a lot of stock for you. And you can determine how intense you want that flavor by reduction. Now to make the shallot butter for on top of our salmon, I've minced shallots you're gonna need a little bit of oil. I'm using olive oil. Just a touch there. You can use butter to start if you'd like as well. And at each step, you're gonna season. So uh, fresh ground black pepper and sea salt. This is softened butter that we're using if you're gonna make this for two people, maybe a quarter to a half cup. I actually diced quite a bit of shallot, so I think about a half cup is good for this proportion wise, and maybe a, a half teaspoon of the chopped herbs to go with it. And each step you're gonna do salt and pepper, and then we have uh, lemon zest to add. Like the zest of one lemon should be good. We can add a little bit of juice in there too, just to give it additional amounts of flavor. I think it's really important as you're cooking to taste what you're making. And what you're looking for when you're tasting onions or shallots is that that acidity and that onion strong flavor is gone. It should be completely mild and smooth for this recipe. If they're you know, really hot, you take a chance of melting your butter, which I, you can do. It's okay if it melts a little bit. It's not gonna hurt it. We're just gonna use it to top the salmon. So that's gonna go right in the oven after the topping's on it. Okay, so I'm gonna coat my Aura King salmon. It's a, it's a fish um, from New Zealand. It's green certified. It's got a beautiful fat content in it. It's delicious and it's very forgiving. When you work with good quality salmon, the flavor is mild regardless of how you like it cooked, uh, rare, medium rare, or well done. 10, 15 minutes before I'm gonna cook it, my oven is set at 200 degrees. If your salmon is room temperature, this whole process should only take about 10 to 15 minutes. While that's cooking, we're gonna make our oat risotto. And um, I'm, using, I'm using oats from Three Sisters Garden. Uh, they are rolled oats. Let me put some in a bowl so you can really get a view of what they look like. It's about a cup, so this is probably what we're gonna cook here. They're rolled oats. You can start by toasting your oats in a dry pan. I'm just gonna put that on there, and I have a stock ready to go here, which I'm gonna add in, but first I'm just gonna toast them. So I'm gonna pay attention and, you know, kind of move the pot around. It's gonna take a minute or two. All right, so I'm getting this really nice smell from them and I'm gonna start my, my uh, oats. So it's about three cups of, for one cup of oats, three cups, oh yeah, that's hot, of stock. And in between, I'm gonna take a peek at my salmon and see how it's cooking. Okay, so my oven looks like it's running a little bit hot. You can see the bloodline oozing out, which I will uh, erase, say another five minutes, and that'll bring us right to about 10, 
10 minutes. After you put your risotto on and your salmon is cooking, now you can saute your mushrooms. Um, I'm gonna do them in a little oil, about two tablespoons. And it depends on how many people I'm feeding, but this is about a half a pound of mushrooms. It's a mix of uh, baby bellas, portabellas, and white mushrooms that are all chopped up. So I'm gonna just watch that. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna check that my uh, oats are not sticking on the bottom. Nope, it looks good. Okay, so my salmon is definitely ready. I'm just going to, you know, remove that little bloodline there and on the other side as well. And then any additional liquid, you can, you know, baste it. And it's really beautiful. So to kind of follow the rules, you want to make sure you taste your, uh, your, oats for seasoning. See if you need to add a pinch more salt. For me, it's very well balanced. I'm, it's delicious. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put this on as my, kind of the foundation of what I'm serving here. And then um, I'm gonna add my mushrooms. sprinkle them around and then the salmon okay and my microgreens these microgreens are also from three sisters garden I like that there are multiple ingredients in the dish that come from the same farm I think that it um, that it enhances the flavor and the ideas behind it. So here is the microgreens. And when you use garnish like this, you wanna be able to taste it. So you're not just putting a little bit on, it's, it's there for the benefit and flavor of the dish. And I don't wanna cover up my salmon. I love the, the crust on it. You can see a little bit of the lemon and the shallots and the beautiful intense orange flavors that sand against the earthiness of the oats and the mushrooms. So enjoy it.